Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scudo Boyo playing vanilla Minecraft Snapshot 19W36D of the upcoming release of 1.9 PC edition. Uh, and in this video I want to show uh, something that's just broken for me and, and that's the switchable nether portal here uh, that I've um, uh, recreated at least in part. Um, this uh, nether portal turns on when you press this button and it's supposed to turn off uh, when you press the button again. I, I didn't implement the turn off behavior because it's a little bit more complicated. Uh, and it's actually the turning on behavior that has broken for me. Uh, so I'm actually right now in uh, uh, playing Minecraft 1.8 uh, in order to show how this used to work uh, and uh, thereafter I will um, uh, show you how it looks now 1.9 but uh, in 1.8 uh, I would go ahead and I just press this button and we would see the nether portal activate uh, and that works uh, because uh, the button is wired up to carry a signal to this dispenser up here and this dispenser is filled with fire charges. Uh, and now uh, what used to happen uh, when you would have a uh, dispenser uh, filled with fire charges and it's facing directly into a block, uh, when you activate the dispenser, uh, the fire charge that would normally fly out of the dispenser uh, gets launched directly into the block uh, and it would start a fire on the other side. So just like that. Uh, and, uh, and of course, uh, fire activates nether portals, so that's how it works. I have the dispenser facing down directly into this uh, block of obsidian here, uh, and so when the button is pressed, it launches a fire charge uh, directly into the obsidian, it starts a fire on the other side of the obsidian, and, uh, and of course that activates the nether portal. So it looks just like that. It's pretty quick. It uh, looks pretty nice. Um, but uh, of course that's broken now, uh, so I'm going to switch uh, uh, to the 1.9 snapshot and show you how it looks now. Okay, I've uh, returned in the 1.9 snapshot. Uh, so now let me go ahead and uh, try to activate try to activate this Nether portal here. Here we go. And okay, that was a big fail. What happened? All that purple stuff up there. All right, it's all over the place. Uh, well, <laughs> now let's try it down here on this uh, test dispenser. Uh, now, instead. Look at all this stuff. It produces dragon breath. This is uh, this is one of the new features of 1.9, uh, and um, and so fire charges launched from dispensers now produce dragon breath like this, which means that they don't start fires, and thus my Nether portal does not get activated. So. Um, I don't know how long this mechanic will stay because this feels like it's too easy to get massive amounts of dragon breath for um, uh, uh, for creating uh, some of the new potions, but um, I'm, I'm not sure. But I'm not sure if this will last. <laughs> if it does, I'm going to have to figure out something else for my Nether portal here. Um, but uh, this is a change that went unnoticed. I, I didn't actually uh, see that it had happened. I think this uh, this change occurred in week 33, but I'm just notic noticing it now. So uh, kind of interesting. Uh, I'm not sure that I I'm sure that I like this uh, this change yet. I was really reliant on that uh, uh, fire starting behavior for a couple of other things as well. Um, so uh, so we'll see if they if this sticks around. But <laughs> Um, that's it then for this video. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, please do leave a note in the comments and thank you very much for watching.